based on your recent talk in the CSI 2017 Kolkata, uh, in patients with a stable coronary artery disease, uh, what uh, kind of uh, investigation you would like to recommend as the first line of investigation? Yeah, thank you, Dr. Saho. Uh, in investigation, the chronic stable angina, when the angina are and stable, so what sort of treatment or what sort of investigation we should ask? It is the new stress nuclear perfusion imaging is one of the best imaging modalities where we can detect the stress induced ischemia at the peak of the exercise and apart from the uh, detection of inducible ischemia, we can also give information to the cardiologist ki whether this ischemia is a ischemia or a dead myocardium also. In chronic stable angina with past history of MI, there are scar tissue which is also there with the ischemia. And apart from this ischemia which has got a sensitivity of 89% and specificity of 91% as against simple treadmill stress testing where the sensitivity is 67% and specificity is 71%. So, apart from detecting the inducible ischemia, we can quantitate, we can quantitate the amount of inducible ischemia which is not available with either stress echo or the treadmill stress testing or any other modalities. Besides this, we can also detect the coronary flow reserve in major coronary arteries like LAD, circumflex and right coronary artery. How does it play a role? We can reclassify the angina. For example, in case of balanced ischemia, where the myocardial perfusion is normal and there is no stress into the ischemia, but if but if you can give the values, if the coronary flow reserve is less than 1.4, 1.5, more than 2 is normal, less than 1.4, 1.5, then the cardiologist has to intervene this particular artery because the coronary flow reserve is reduced in the absence of stress into the ischemia. Okay, sir. So, sir, um, apart from the stress induced ischemia, what other kind of information we can uh, derive from uh, nuclear imaging? Yeah, apart from the stress induced ischemia, we can tell the viability whether the ischemia is viable or ischemia with dead myocardium is not viable. Number one. Number two, what the, I, I have just mentioned about the coronary flow reserve, which is a very key issue to reclassify angina. We have got radioisotope like rubidium 82 like the new adenoastro which is coming to the market apatil fluoride like nitrogen 13 ammonia where we can quantitate the amount of ischemia ischemia plus we can also give the information of coronary flow reserve cfr like ffr in uh, your cardiac catheterization 